Zane, uh, Zane uh, explored this uh, abandoned cruiser that they had found, you know, in in, in space. Uh, in this part of in this part of space, there are th there are there are groups called claim jumpers that are forbidden to enter an inhabited solar system, but they can be brought into that solar system, and once inside that solar system, they can then set up beacon markers over uninhabited planets and claim them. The markers send out a pulse that registers the planet and conveys title. So the second sh the ship entered the vortex, the claim jumpers revealed themselves and were blasting out of the ship's belly like rockets. Zhang went into killing overdrive and began slaughtering them by the thousands, but a group of them were gaining distance on Zhang's battle cruiser and he knew he had to release the destroyer and, and mop up the claim jumpers before they breached the magnetic fields surrounding our solar system and were inside of the vortex, but he did not. The destroyer was too important to him. He could not let General Watchmaker down, so he kept firing even when they were f way out of range. And just then, the children, who Zhang had trained with, uh... Each, each one was at the head of squadrons of space drones that had not melded together but were simply flying in formation and being controlled by the, uh, by, by the children. Um, they began attacking the claim jumpers in wave after wave of decimating fire and wiping out the claim jumpers. Zhang sensed that Tully had ordered the drones in, to, to, in phase to go critical, so he, discon he disengaged from the destroyer and tried to put as much distance as he could between the ship and the destroyer. No destroyer, thought General Watchmaker, who was in the Situation Room, watching the battle. But he was very happy with the goodies Gunnery Sergeant Zhang had sent him in a pulse transfer, a secret communication device his PSYOPs unit had come up with. Not knowing what he and Zhang had just had, not knowing that he and Zhang had just unleashed a cyber virus into the world. Tully soon knew that the government's Zeta computers were infected, and um, her, battle, her battle chair gave the government countermeasures that flushed the system of the virus. But after things started going haywire in the binary computer system on Earth as well, Tully suddenly knew that this was no mere virus, but a sentient cyber being and so she stopped attempting to kill it and began attempting to communicate with it. But that is a story for another day. Jeez, if I thought it was that close to the end, I wouldn't have uh, stopped it. But 